for a reverse eccentric step up, what we're going to do is find a height that we can start between four and six inches. This is eight, so it's actually a little bit too high to start with. Uh, and you're basically going to act like you're stepping down off of this, uh, but you're going you're gonna to work the leg that stays back on the step itself. So slow lowering, eccentric phase is slow. I'm going to go down, I'm going to tap my heel. I'm going to shift a little bit of weight on that just to get weight on that leg. And then I'm going to make sure I help myself come back up. So it's a reverse step up in that sense, but I'm going slow and in control on the way down. Now, as I do this, this leg can fan out just a little bit to give me a little bit more external rotation and control of the hips. Come down, load, and I'll kick back up. Doing all the legs on this side that are prescribed, or all the reps on this leg that are prescribed, and then flipping over and doing the, uh, the reps on the other side. Okay, that's a reverse eccentric step up.